A new kind of house is going up in the Triangle, actually the first of its kind east of the Mississippi. In tonight's Eyewitness News Extra, reporter Jennifer Barron shows us a home that is truly rock solid. The for sale sign on Wake Forest Road doesn't tell the whole story behind these new townhomes in the Mordecai neighborhood. From the outside, it looks like any other new home. Prospective buyers look around the inside and think the same thing. Three bedrooms, two baths. But then the builders explain what's different. This is a six inch thick concrete ceiling. With concrete floors and concrete walls, with the exception of the roof, it's a concrete house. The number one goal of this entire project was to create a house built of concrete that didn't look like it was built of concrete. And from the concrete crown molding to the medallion design and the thinly plastered concrete ceiling, it appears to have worked. It's very unusual. I've, I'm just kind of really impressed by this, the space and what they've done with the concrete, I mean. Does it seem like concrete to you? No, it doesn't. It really doesn't, but it's amazing. Yeah, it's like living in your own bomb shelter. That, in part, is the reason for a concrete home, officially called a secure tech home. The concept developed in Tornado Alley, expanding the idea of a safe room to a safe house. The builder Dave Fan Miller says there's more to it than claims of being able to withstand 250 mile per hour straight winds. Well, the biggest thing is the energy efficiency of it. Concrete isn't a good insulator, but it is good for thermal storage. Here's how it comes together. Aluminum molds with reinforcing steel rods and foam liners are put up. It looks like a giant erector set. Then the concrete, 600,000 pounds in this case, is poured into the molds, creating walls and ceilings. Builders say the process creates a thermal envelope that keeps homes warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. They are hoping for an EPA star rating, which indicates at least a 30% savings in energy costs. On the downside, these homes cost about 5 to 8% more to build. Each side here is going for 189 dollars but the builders say keep your eyes open. They expect this trend to catch on from Manio to Murphy. Jennifer Barron, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.